Hey everyone, so today I'm going to talk about a topic that maybe a lot of you are interested in, and this is how to be happy. And I know that for some of you, this idea might sound kind of simple. I mean, how to be happy, why don't you just be happy? This might be some people's concept of being happy, but for me, I know that from my experience of being a new transfer in my high school, it was really, really difficult for me to find out who I am and be satisfied with myself and be happy in general. I found it really difficult to be happy continuously and every day. For me, being happy is something that I actually have to try and I actually have to adjust myself to environment and tell myself that stay satisfied no matter what kind of environment you're in, no matter what kind of people you meet with, and no matter what kind of circumstance or what kind of situation that you're in just try to be satisfied and i read the book the power of now and watched a clip from the secret i don't know if you guys know about these two sources but they're known for positive lifestyle and actually improving your like relationship and improving your mindset for a whole world both of the sources both the secret and the power of now they all just come down to one point be satisfied with the now and don't seek for the future or seek from the past don't try to fight with your now because the more you resist and the more negative that you feel the worse things are going to be because you're never going to change something by just feeling really bad about it you either change it stick with it go with the flow if not find a way to fix it find a solution find a way to make your situation better in my high school years i was really depressed for a while because i felt like I couldn't fit in, I felt like I wasn't the same as everyone else and that just made me really sad because I felt like I couldn't find myself anymore and I started thinking to myself, is who I am wrong? Is my personality wrong? Is what I'm doing wrong? But in the end, I found my solution. My solution is to just focus on studying and realize that as a student, this is the number one most important thing for me to do right now. And from studying, I found myself. I found more respect for my peers and I realized that it's just so important to just have a goal and just to work for it no matter what other people talk about, no matter what other people say. And just like now, I'm making YouTube videos and at first, no one really told me to start making videos and no one really agreed or anything, but I just started making videos and now here I am making more videos. I realized that this is something that I want to do, so I stick with it and I continue. And I feel like this is the kind of thing that you constantly have to do. Being happy is certainly not a thing that you can just do at once and just have it go forever and ever. Because being happy is a constant trial and error. You might do something that you feel like that will make you happy, but eventually it doesn't make you happy. You lose that sense of satisfaction. You might find a friend who you think is your soulmate, but after spending more time with him or her, you realize that maybe they're not your soulmate after all. You realize the differences that you guys have and how you guys have different passions and how you guys have different ways of looking at life. And so I feel like in life is always a process of adjusting, adjusting your mindset, adjusting your new goals, adjusting what you want to look forward to and adjusting what you think about now because you might be totally satisfied with your now right now but the next moment will be different life is always about changes and it's always about going with the flow and not resisting the now you can't do anything by feeling so bitter about something and this is just my number one goal that sometimes i just can't follow through but i always tell myself that in the end you can't do anything by feeling bitter or crying or just getting depressed or just letting those events torture you, torture the inside of you and torture you mentally. It's not worth it. This will affect your health and the friends around you, the people who actually care about you, this will break their hearts and you don't want this to happen. So what should you do? You should try to accept it. You either accept it or change it. Don't feel bitter about it. So this also reminds me of the time when I used to work at a coffee shop and it's kind of this Japanese style cosplay coffee shop. And it was this maid style coffee shop. But in the coffee shop, all the workers were really poorly treated and we were paid 10 RMB per hour, which is probably 
divided by six into US dollars. So that is really, really low pay. But we have to do all the work such as scrubbing the floor, washing dishes, all the stuff. And then not only that, we also get verbal accusations of not working hard enough or bringing more burden to the coffee shop, all those stuff. And the boss was just really, really mean to us. And most of us were only like 16, 17, almost our first job, but we just couldn't feel happy working in it. And what's the solution? Well, my solution to that is just quitting the job. If you feel like that is something that you absolutely hate doing and that makes you feel bad about yourself, there's really no point of doing it anymore. And as I said, if you can't go with the flow, you change it. You find every single way to change it. If you can't change it, then you change your mindset towards it. If you have to keep that job, then change your mindset. Realize that this is not your final job. This is just a learning experience, and this is a good chance for you to know how to deal with negative people like that, how to deal with people who constantly accuse you and make you feel bad about yourself, and how to stay positive and stay happy and stay motivated, and know that your end purpose is not to be here, be here, humiliated and be sad your end purpose is to do something better in this and you're better than this you're never what other people accuse of you you're always better than who you think you are and you're always capable of doing something more than you expected so this is my final advice to you guys that don't let anything external bring you down always realize that there's a lot of potential in you and you can do so much more if you just have a more positive mindset it's not easy it's a continuous task that you have to do every single day with every single situation but it's worth it in the end you feel so much better about yourself and you'll gain so much more confidence and always find something that you like and follow that passion follow it through do it when you're sad like me I do videos when I'm not totally motivated in my current situation and those videos really help me in finding myself and knowing what I want in life and in turn by helping other people it really helps me find my purpose too so really find what you want to do find that passion and really do it continue doing Doing it until you're sick of it and if you're not even better then do it for your whole life just have something that you want to do and let that happiness drive you through your life through all those things that you might not want to do because if you can't change the situation change your mindset change your mood change your perspective so yeah here are my tips for being happy and hope this video helps you please leave some comments down below of how you deal with stress how you find your own happiness thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye!